guys, it's Aarti and welcome back to my channel and in this video, I'm going to teach you how to make an Instagram filter but specifically how to convert a Lightroom preset into an Instagram color filter. If you're new here, please do consider subscribing to my channel. It's really easy to make this filter, just follow these steps and you're good to go. So I've made this filter and it's live on my Instagram account, you can check it out and use it as well. It is named Artistic Matte and that's what I'm going to explain how I made that filter in this video. So let's begin. Firstly, you need to download the Spark AR Studio. It's free and then of course you need a Facebook account to log in. So these are the files we're going to need to download to make the Spark AR filter. And this is the base color uh, which we're going to need, which is the most important thing in this filter. This is the image that consists the preset that I've applied, which I'm going to teach in the next step. These are the dust and scratches file. I like to add this it's completely optional it's not compulsory but i like to have a vintage look on my filter you can download it from google easily with a transparent background and this is the fast color correction file which we're going to need as well so you can download this base color image and fast color correction file by clicking the google drive link that is mentioned in the description below and you can have that and so now let's move on to the next step where I'm going to show you how to convert the base color file into the file you're going to need in this filter. Import this base color image into your Lightroom app or software and then you just have to apply that preset which you've made or which you want to apply. It will change the colors like this of the original image and it will look something like this. Now save this image and add it in your computer. So once you download the Spark AR Studio, you're going to create a new project and then select on blank project. And this screen right here will appear. This is where you can actually test uh, what you're doing and how your filter will look. You can obviously change to whatever you want. So I'm going to select this. So the most important and first thing is to import the base color which has the filter and the fast color correction file as well. So I'm going to select this file and select no compression. So then you need to right click on the focal distance and add a face mesh. I'm going to rename it to skin and then I'm going to click on add material and rename it to skin as well. So, so once this selected go to the shader type and select retouching and I'm going to maybe 22 which is a pretty good number retouching is basically skin smoothening and I'm going to add the patch editor right here click on focal distance again and select a canvas and right click on the canvas and select a rectangle I am going to rename this file to color I'm going to select color and Fill the height and the width so the filter is going to apply to the entire screen and not just the face. After this click on add material and rename it to color. Once you add the color material select it and select the shader type to flat. Click on the texture arrow right here and that will add to the patch editor. Then you need to select the camera and add the texture eradication and drag it right here and then drag the base color which consists the filter right here. After that I am going to drag the fast color correction image right here and then join this first arrow to this arrow and this first arrow to this arrow and then this to this and you can see the filter is applied so now if you don't want to add the dust part and you just want the filter you can export and upload to spark AR hub if you want to add the dust part and make it look vintage you need to right click on canvas and add a rectangle I'm going to rename it to dust then again you need to add a material and rename it to dust as well. 
after that select on the texture right here and add new animation sequence you can rename it to dust animation once this is done you need to choose the files which are these I'm going to select all five and you can see the five frames are added in the animation sequence but it's very small right here so for this what you need to do is go to the dust file in canvas and again like we did last time just fill the height and the width so now this is pretty fast and very bold as well now I am going to change the FPS to maybe 10. This is very slow. I am going to do 13, which is perfect. After that, go into the dust material section and you can lighten it here. I am going to keep it at 40, which is not too disturbing, not too bold, and your object will be clear enough that's basically it and then you just need to upload so once you export this screen will appear and i want to upload it on instagram i'm going to name it artistic map mat and you can select up to four categories but i'm going to select camera styles color and light and you can also add 20 keyboards I'm going to add matte artistic color and light camera styles and then you need to save this file and when you open this on Instagram Instagram will send you a link to test your filter on your devices you need to capture a video, download it and add it in your computer and upload the file. So once this file is uploaded, you can select any thumbnail you want uh, from this. And I want to keep it as this. I want to change the logo to this, which I have made. Select the publication date uh, as soon as possible or you can set a time or date as well and then you need to describe how your effect works in a few words and basically your instagram filter will look like this on your profile uh, i can see you like this and your icon will look like this once you open your camera then you just have to submit it and your filter will get accepted within 10 days my filter got accepted within three hours which was great so before i made this filter i was looking for good youtube tutorials to follow and i found a few but either they were very chaotic or they were in different languages so that's how i got an idea to make this video i hope you enjoyed please comment down below if you have any questions or feedback it will be much appreciated give this video a huge like subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching i'll see you next time bye